Well, howdy do, buckaroos, born from the land of sky blue waters, as the can says. Yes, <laughs> your eyes are deceiving you. I'm actually drinking the abs, man. What happened, Tom? Well, I'm poor, man. <laughs> no, I actually made a conscious effort to buy this. Uh, I was kind of comparing a couple of... Uh, you know, these, these so-called so bargain beers, these bargain macros, as it were, to see if there really is a difference. You know, there, there are some subtlety, subtle differences. But i got to tell you, I mean, I've, I've drank Old Style. Uh, by the time this video comes out, you'll have seen that I've done the Schlitz. Uh, now, hams, I really don't think these beers are any worse than than the big macros, you know, the big three, as it were, that are they're, they're priced a lot more, that they're just not any worse. Uh, so, you know, it's that old saying, you know, you can put a tuxedo on a goat, it's still a goat. So I dressed it up in a nice glass, and, and I don't know if it helped that I had the Schlitz, and actually, I, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. I'm not telling you it has a ton of flavor, because it did not. <laughs> but I do have a, a rather muggy 85 degree day out here, and it, it was rather refreshing, and it, it did have a much crisper, cleaner finish than I had anticipated. So I was curious how this hams, which is, you know, uh, even cheaper <laughs> price-wise than the Schlitz, that well, let's give it a whirl. I paid $5.49 for the six-pack Tall Boy Schlitz. I paid, um, I think I paid three, I paid three forty-nine dollars uh, for the, no, for, I'm sorry, I, 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 four of, this was four forty-nine, four forty-nine dollars for the six-pack of Tall Boys for the hams. And there are some slight differences between the two. Which one's better? Ah, it depends on which one. And at this point, does it really matter, right? <laughs> if I'm drinking Schlitz and Hams, am I really giving a rat's ass about quality at this point? Probably not. I just want something that's just going to refresh, you know, uh, quench my thirst and, and just be refreshing on this very hot day. Now, I'm not going to try to pull 30 adjectives out of my ass. that just don't belong. You know, and the folks that do beers like this that, that want to yank 30 adjectives out of their ass, well, they're pulling your leg. But then again, I don't subscribe to the school of beer reviewers. That I know there's a bunch out there that that drink beers like this just so they can say a whole bunch of bad things about. It's fodder to the masses so they can all pile on. You know, I, these beers aren't terrible either. They are what they are. They aren't meant to be these big, you know. That's why I'm getting, I love craft beer, man. I was there at the very beginning. Well, not the very beginning. There were some guys older than me. But I'm 49 years old. I was there close to the damn beginning, you know. And I was one of those guys that drank it early on, uh, even when it was, wasn't was cool to do so. Uh, boy, thank goodness for the hipsters, right? Boy, they made it better for the rest of us. Anyway, <laughs> Did you, could you tell the sarcasm in my voice? There you go. Yeah, thank God the hipsters saved us. Oh my goodness, what would we have done without them? But <laughs> anyways, I digress. Now I don't typically drink beers like these, but uh, again, I, I believe I believe there's a time and a place. Uh, you know, again, there's there's that kind of beer drinker that. Uh, says bad things about beers like this every chance they get. There's another type that wants to make it into something they're not. And then there's a the kind of guy like, like me, and there's a bunch of us out there. We might be a silent minority, but I know I'm not the only one. That feel a kinship to specific brands of, of these. Maybe not this one, maybe not the Schlitz I did, but we all have ours that we, you know, we have a kinship to of one sort or another. The, you know, we know they're they're not. They are what they are. I mean, they're not necessarily terrible beers, but they're not beers you're going to get a lot of flavor out of. They're there for specific reasons, and a reason could be like a day like today. Maybe it's 85 degrees and muggy. You just want something you can drink, or maybe you're just having a melancholy moment, and maybe a beer like that makes you feel better for one reason or another. So there you go. I'm, I'm the beer whisperer. I'm drinking a damn Can you believe that shit, man?